Miller Waterfront Shopping Center in Ottawa County might become a casualty of high lake levels. The city manager of Grand Haven is recommending the Chinook Pier buildings be torn down after they were damaged by water causing widespread mold. The center is near the heart of downtown Grand Haven, Haven right along the river leading toward the big lake. 13 on your side Lake Shore reporter Noah Fromson explains. For a while now, the city of Grand Haven has been looking into how much it would cost to remove the mold from the three buildings here at Chinook Pier. And the numbers they've come back with have some city officials saying it's not worth it. As the sun finally peeks out in Grand Haven, people start walking the water's edge, often starting at Chinook Pier. People have grown up with this, and they, their kids have grown up with it, and their grandkids have grown up with it, and they, they really hate to see it go. But as the estimates roll in, city manager Pat McGinnis says removing mold from the three buildings wouldn't be a smart business move. Somewhere between $800,000 and $1.3 million to you know, mitigate, restore, and, and renovate that property. To even start the process, he says officials would have to wait for the water levels to drop. It's one of three options the city is mulling, including demolishing the two larger buildings and renovating the third, or demolishing them all, which McGinnis recommends. Economics of investing in these older buildings are, are not good. There might be a more economically sound approach of demolishing and rebuilding. A small group of the businesses may set up next season in the train depot just south of the center. The city is still trying to help the others and hoping to hear from the public about what they want next at Chinook Pier. You know, there's any number of things. The, the possibilities are endless of what could go there. In Grand Haven, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.